The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. I want to take this time to talk about corn leaf staging and there's a couple of reasons why it's important. One, it allows us to identify uh, when we should be controlling weeds for that critical weed free period. And then secondly, we, certain herbicides have a maximal leaf stage restriction. So that's mainly for crop safety perspective. So certain herbicides we don't want to apply past a certain corn leaf stage. Confusing thing is, there's about three different types of ways to, to leaf stage a corn plant. And I'm going to go through a couple because they're the most prominent. Let's first talk about leaf tip. It's the easiest one to stage because you're just counting leaf tips. You don't have to worry about anything else. So we'll take this corn plant for example. We have one leaf there, two leaves, three leaves, four leaves. So you're just counting leaf tip. Pretty easy. So you see a leaf tip, you count it, we have four leaf tip. That's actually the beginning of the critical weed free period. So from four leaf tip to 10 leaf tip, we want to keep this crop weed free. And so we're doing a pretty good job here. Uh, a couple of seedling weeds up, but you know, this is the beginning of the critical weed free period. The other method, which is very common on herbicide labels, is the leaf over method. And you don't start counting leaves until you see it curl over. So in this case, we have one leaf curled over, two leaf curled over, three leaf curled over, and that's about it, right? So that's the three leaf stage. So some people talk about the critical weed free period being from the three to eight leaf stage. They're meaning leaf over. So whether you want to call this leaf tip or leaf over, we're at the beginning of the critical weed free period where we need to have this field clean for the next uh, four or five leaves. So we're looking at this corn crop here. I like using the corn leaf tip method for counting leaves because it's simple. You're just counting leaf tips. We have four leaf tips here. This is the beginning of the critical weed free period. What do we want to look at when we're in the field? So if we haven't had a soil applied herbicide down, we want to gauge the level of weed pressure. And so I can show you a couple of fields where we're at the four leaf tip situation and we're starting to see a lot of green material between those rows. And uh, when we see that in the field, if that's your scenario, when you're seeing, you know, it's starting to become difficult to see the corn rows, uh, the research suggests that we're losing probably a, a bushel per acre per every day we are delaying getting in there and controlling weeds. So if you're in your field counting four leaf tip, you're starting to notice tons of lambs quarters and annual grasses and pig weeds, and it's starting to be difficult to see the rows, uh, that's a high priority. We're losing a bushel per acre per day. But if this is our scenario here, where we're at four leaf tip and we're pretty clean, uh, we have the odd lamb's quarters here, the odd wild mustard. It's not as critical. Um, we should probably be in here in the next week or so because lamb's quarters uh, over a week period can probably put on about four to six leaves. And once we get a lamb's quarter that's above two inches tall, it becomes a bit more difficult to control. So four leaf tip stage, perfect time to be looking at weeds uh, to see what we should be doing in terms of prioritization. So you might say, why do I need to get in here in three to five days? Things are relatively small. Here's actually a good comparison, an example of why. We probably want to be in the next week at, at, at the very latest. So here's common ragweed at the two leaf stage. And in about five days, six days, it'll get to about this size here. So the six leaf stage, this is almost kind of perfect timing. When ragweed starts to get bigger and bigger than this, uh, it becomes more difficult to control. So that's why I say there's a bit of urgency here and that we want to be thinking about getting in here in the next little while because it doesn't take long for this little guy to get this big and then you start to, to not be able to see cornrows.